So last week, we actually played a video of Ari Spears, and it was a very funny video. It was him making fun of Lizzo. It was going off on Lizzo, yeah. It was fucking hilarious. And, and then we, we obviously immediately, uh, through our support, 100% behind Ari Spears. 100%. I mean, we, t- we, 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 we called them the next that, Patrice. Yeah, we basically said that um, no matter what happens, mm-hmm. and no matter what comes out about the guy ever, he were he were always going to have his back. What what happened, Royce? Well, here's the thing. So before before we hit play, um, Taper, do me a favor. If you're clipping this right here, that thing that you clipped, you could play us laughing about it and saying how funny it is. Put that right here. Okay, cool. Uh oh. Yeah. Another. Uh, Yo, you know somebody. That- another guy, black guy, who always says what's on his mind. Yeah, that actually make Harry Spears. The music Spears man, give a Lizzo. Fuck. Lizzo? Yeah, bro. Have you heard her shit, yo? Like, as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you dropped your crown. I, I, I think very often people forget how fucking good Ari Spears is, and he is ruthless. Holy shit! He, he said Lizzo? Like he's been holding on to it for yeah. a minute. <laughs> I, I remember Ari Spears' very famous story. He almost got into a fight with Paul and Young Ron in South Florida, which was the local radio two radio guys there. Because he came on and they kept trying to like to get him to do impressions, but like really poorly. Like it was a lot like, what would Mike Tyson sound like? He goes, Yo, man, can we just like talk about like I'm doing stand up and like I've got a show and shit? Like I, I don't want to have to fucking, you know, like jump through hoops and like, you know, be your monkey, uh, you know, do whenever you want me to do impressions. And they got into this whole like this whole fight about it. Like, you know, Eric Spears is fucking nuts, dude. He doesn't care. Yeah, he will. He'll fight you. Bro, have you heard her shit, yo? Like as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Very beautiful girl. She's got a very pretty face. But she keeps showing her body off, nigga. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's That's never so been fair. a better way to describe it than that. That's so fair, the way you come on, man. I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape nigga in the world, but I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome, you get pussy. But a woman He's actually not wrong about that statement. He's a woman that's nope. built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Is he getting so any ba- is he getting any backlash from this? Uh, you don't think he, I don't know, but I don't think Lizzo he, fans and the body positive people. I don't think that. they give a fuck. Sorry, this is why I can't hate black people, dude. Oh. <laughs> fuck, that killed me. <laughs> look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> 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 He's killing this. Sorry. <laughs> but musically, yo, she go hard, man. She a good songwriter, though. Oh, yo, she's, yeah, she's dope. Her music hard, her body ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he's a machine gun. He's a, yeah. he's a machine gun. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh, here they come. The, the wall of Braveheart, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't have Patrice, and in no way am I saying that Aerie Spears is on the same level as Patrice. But we need to keep the good ones we have alive. But it's something. The field coming He's over like the Kirkland hills. Kirkland Patrice. Yeah, Kirkland Patrice. I'll take it. Are you ready for war? You can hear the horses thumping on the fucking ground. It's about to, uh-oh, here, here he come. Who that motherfucker think he is? Be body shaming that motherfucker. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's another thing, yo. You she know what kills issue, me? Yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what kills me about women? 
is oh, this is gonna be good. Hey, guys, get comfortable. Is the hypocrisy and the contradiction. <laughs> yes, queen, slay queen. Yes, queen, slay. Yeah, girl, your confidence. Fuck diabetes. Fuck heart, heart, heart problems. Fuck heart disease, cholesterol. Y'all claim womanhood and about sisterhood and support for your sister, you know, when it come to that ridiculous shit. But if you really gave a fuck, why wouldn't you go, black girl, we love you. We love your confidence, boo-boo. But th this ain't it. This ain't it. Where's That's the real love. Y'all are jumping. Okay, Aries, here, I can help you on this one, buddy. I got you. Women fucking hate each other. Yeah. And they want to yeah. push p people like Lizzo up. That way there's always somebody that they can look at and go, oh, I'm not her. Mm -hmm. Woo! And Woo! Now, nowadays women can say that I'm, I'm hotter than a fucking pop star, too. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Jump on me for making jokes, but y'all won't fucking be real and go, sister, put the eclair down. The same egg. <laughs> I like that she's eating a fancy French dessert. And by the way, Mersh, I will not be going to Paris. I heard a rap song, and there are African Americans there now. Meal time. Oh, there sure are. Speaking of that, right? Because she does have issues with her weight, right? And it's actually. I mean, yeah, that's a good way of video it. online of her crying about being fat shamed. Did you see that video of her crying? We all do. I do. <laughs> but yeah, man, she says she be having an issue, man, with people fat shaming her about her weight and cracking jokes about how big she is. Well, how you gonna have issues, but at the same time show your whole ass at an NBA game? <laughs> I mean, my man's got a point. <laughs> my man's got a fucking point. <laughs> He's the best. You can't show your ass crack and That's the mad motherfuckers right. noticed it. He's right, though, right? He's 100% <laughs> right. Oh, fuck. As comedians, we take what the defense gives us. You don't want to be put out there? Then don't put it out there. And again... I know. I, I, listen, I ain't never met a plate of pasta I didn't like. I'm a pasta whore, nigga. I'm, you know, I'm trying. It's an everyday struggle for me. You know, I, I, you know, I come from a family where you know we drank fried milkshakes. What the fuck even is a fried I milkshake? No I think he's probably joking. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but bro, I mean, he is on. Fucking uh, Ellie Spears has never not been funny. Point, dude. He's always been one of the top no, guys. No, no, of man, course. Man but TV. like, damn, man, that was fucking just an evisceration of her. That was great. Oh, shit emoji is brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah. Now, here's what happened. Uh, <laughs> the SpongeBob one week later. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Very shocking allegations of child abuse against Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears. A new lawsuit against the comedians have accused the comedians of sexually abusing two child actors during the filming of a skit. Haddish so here's the thing. I know we were laughing earlier and we were having fun. You got to understand something. At the Look, time, we were not fuck. aware... Fuck Aries Spears. I never liked that piece of shit. <laughs> I never trust him. Ish hasn't spoken out about the so allegations. The gun a lawyer. Maybe. Well, no, the thing is, this literally came out the day after we did I the know. bit. I sent it to Mersh over the weekend. I'm like, bro, no fucking way. Is denying all charges and calling the allegations bogus. Backstageoil.com's Dave Morales says he was shocked to hear the news. Dave Morales. Okay, I don't need Dave Morales because I I because Dave Morales is, you know, whatever. But but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh read the story. Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears accused of child sexual abuse in a lawsuit. Their reps call it a shakedown. Now, I'm gonna read this and then we're gonna tell you what I, what we think. Okay. Comedians Tiffany Haddish. Okay. And Ari Spears have been accused of having groomed and molested two then minor siblings years ago, according to a lawsuit filed in L.A. Superior Court. The complaints are referred to as the complainants are referred to as Jane Doe and John Doe in the suit, which states their names are being withheld to protect their privacy. According to the complaint, a copy which was obtained by CNN, Jane Doe and John Doe were 14 and 7, respectively, when they alleged that Haddish and Spears had them participate in a sexually suggestive video. 
in separate incidents in 2013. Okay, where's this video? We, if we could just look at the video, we could tell you right away. Uh, the video was on Funny or Die, and it was taken down. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, because, I mean, this seems like a simple one that we could just look at the video, and we could be like, oh, yeah, no, that's bullshit, you know, or not. Supposedly, I heard <sighs> that the video was a spoof mm -hmm. where, like, Ari Spears was literally playing a child molester. Like, it was right. edgy boy comedy, from what I know. When reached, and I mean, I don't think they molested a kid and then uploaded the, vi the evidence to, like, Funny or Die. <laughs> Okay, so it says here, when reached for a comment by CNN, attorneys for Haddish and Spears called the allegations bogus and a shakedown. According they to the said it's bogus, dude. According to the complaint, Haddish was a longtime family friend of the mother of the siblings who filed. The According to the complaint, Haddish was a longtime family friend of the mother of the siblings who filed. The okay, right here. Can I say red flag number one? This feels like a shakedown. I'm not. In my opinion. I don't know any. I'm not gonna. Obviously, not gonna die on a hill because I don't know everything. But let's I continue. am saying 100 percent that this is. Ari Spears did nothing wrong. I am taking a legally actionable. No, stance no, no, right you're not. No, no, no. You could do take a legally action stance on Nightwave. You could do that, that on Nightwave. Do not, do not, liars. do not rope me into this. I disagree with this gentleman. I am making a legally. I, I do say not say legally on actionable. On behalf of myself. No, no. Nope, he does and not. No, nope, I'm gonna. Nope, no. Nope. That no child mm -hmm. has ever been no, molested. No, I ever. wouldn't. So oh, God, no. And if you can prove that one child has ever been molested in this world, sue us. Mersh, you were you. molested, Mersh. You were. Ooh, maybe I could sue us. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Fuck. Aside from somebody. <laughs> means that it exists. That's now, the not video good. showed what, Dave? Here well, we it showed, uh, you know, improper behavior. Tiffany and Aries were doing a comedy sketch with minors, uh -huh. and it involved uh, what the, the plaintiffs are saying, lewd activities. Uh, and on. then so they haven't even named them. It's Jane and John Doe were the plaintiffs. But the mom, and there's drama there because the mom brought the case. But now the daughter who is representing herself in the lawsuit, huh? and you've heard that expression, you know, the, what is it? The worst client, the attorney you have is when you represent yourself, you right. know, the expression. Yeah. And so there, there's, there's some funny, interesting stuff on the other side as well. But what they're alleging is that when these children were young, they were in a comedy sketch that Aries and Tiffany produced and it involved bad stuff. Uh, and so, you know, we'll see what happens, but the, the, the what kind of analysis was that? This guy added nothing, and everybody's saying it looks like uh, Bobby Kelly with cancer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're saying they're asking if this is another Jim Norton character. You know what, dude? It's like you know, you know, you're making a comedy skit, and they accuse you of being a pedo. That's what it is. It looks like Jim Norton doing a Bobby. Yep. Fucking Kelly impression. Exactly. He'll Funny do or die has nuked this fucking video off the face oh, yeah. of the planet. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've gone through like three different art of fucking uh, somebody will find it. Org somebody will find it. Jammies. All right, so fucking, I'll put it out there for everybody. The name of the 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 skit is uh, uh through a pedophile's eye. Okay. So fucking. Okay, there you go, so look, I, I, again, the, the se sexual abuse. This, the, this seems fucking weird to me. I, I'm I'm just saying, like, I'm thinking back to that time frame, and everybody was kind of making these edgy boy jokes. Like, I'm not saying like. Look, my point is this: if you're going to make that comparison, right? And this is this is the standard that I that that I that I hold these allegations to. Okay, I always use Exhibit A. Is what happened in that skit worse than this Disney movie? I should have known. Hey, you know, I wouldn't have traded that night for anything. Is what happened in that skit worse than this? Oh my God! Is I have to know what Aerie Spears is getting sued for. Is it worse than this? This Didn't is just kiss the kid at the end of Big Two. No, but at least that kid was like a teenager. Right? No, he, like... no, I don't. I don't think she kissed him in kid version. Maybe she did. I don't remember. You might be right. I think actually. she did on the cheek. On the cheek. I think it was uh, on the okay, cheek. Okay, that's fine. By that's the fine. way, you got that. The the the, the woman. The character fucking big is the only woman that I honestly feel bad for 
because she she didn't know she was literally an accidental pedophile <laughs> and it wasn't her fault this is one of those times you could go look this is not this lady's fault she just thought he was a quirky guy you know what i mean um so yeah that's what i always hold anything up to is it worse than the kiss and blank check i am just saying just like you know I am, feel like there's fuckery going on here. And I'm not... I, I, again, the problem is two things. Number one, they're not saying who the people's names are. Now, one of them I understand because that person would no, 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 would still be under 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 18. But the other person was 17. The other person's a fucking grown-ass person now, you know? So that whenever they do this, it also makes it hard for you to really get a picture of what's going on. You know what I mean? By the way... People will probably already know who it is because all you have to do is figure out who is in that sketch and you'll know exactly who it is, you know? A uh, representative for Funny or Die told the Daily Beast, Funny or Die found this video absolutely disgusting and would never produce such content. We were not involved with the conceptualization, development, funding, or production of this video. It was uploaded to the site as user-generated content and was removed in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of its existence. Now, they could just be covering their ass, but... No, no, hold on, hold on. I will, <laughs> I'm going to give... Funny or die a little bit of slack. Because, Wait a second. Wait yeah. a second. Because I was just about to say that fucking funny or die also had a fucking skit back in the day called Peter uh Peter the Pedophile. Where like a kid met a pedophile, and they've also nuked that one off the face of the fucking planet. So funny or die is also being a fucking scumbag piece of shits here Covering because they've ass. done sketches like this before. Forget done sketches. Fucking the entire site was founded on Will Ferrell offering beer to a little girl because she was the, she was the fucking um, landlord. Which, by the way, I don't find any of that offensive. Oh, yeah. I, I and I, I, and that doesn't offend me. I think that's just funny. Like you know what I mean? Like I think some. I honestly believe that sometimes people get a little too up their own ass about jokes sometimes, and that's why I'm yeah. like, I would need to see the video, right? Like I would need to see specifically what they think was bad and also why would you wait until tiffany haddish is now starring in big movies because she wasn't before to start suing them right why don't you why don't you sue, sue tiffany haddish that was doing open mics why are you suing the t why, why why didn't you sue the tiffany haddish that could only upload videos the funnier die as user generated content and not the tiffany haddish that's starring in fucking movies with uh a-list actors now you know what i mean as a matter of fact, I think she was in the Nicolas Cage movie that I just watched. The tr whatever one with a tremendous talent of whatever. Anyway, man, look, I don't know. I would need more information and I would like to see the skit. Obviously, we're not going to solve it, but I just ha I don't know, man. Something about this seems weird to me, you know, like it, it, it is absolutely not sitting right with me. Uh -oh. This is this is the skit. That uh, Ari Spears is getting in trouble for. So I haven't seen it. Have you? You haven't seen it yet. Has anybody seen it yet? No. No, I purposefully avoided it. Okay. What so, the fuck? So he's getting in trouble for those who might have missed yesterday. He's getting in trouble because, according to a CNN article, uh, him and Tiffany Haddish in like 2014 did a skit that they uploaded to funnierdie.com. And it was a skit that was called The Mind of a Pedophile. Well, the two kids at the time that were in this video are now suing him because they say it was, you know, that, there was, that this filming this was sexual abuse. So I we don't know. We haven't seen it. So we were going to watch it, but we're, we, sh we were like, let's not watch it on our main channel because I'm a little worried about that. So we figured we'd watch it here with the boys on Patreon. Um, I guess we'll play it. Bro, right out the gate, pedophile spelled wrong. Yeah, I think they did it on purpose is the point. So let's see. Ooh, Uncle Pete! Uncle Pete, I need you to do me a big favor. Please, can you do me a favor and watch TJ while I run to the bank? No problem. I'll be right back. Look, do whatever Uncle Pete asks you to do, okay? Be good. All right, thank you so much. If you need anything, just call me, okay? Mm -hmm. See you. All right now. Let me find it, cut out the kid's shirt off or whatever. Yeah, that's a little. Is there nope. a, is there a Spears nope. is there a Spears doing a, a Bill Cosby impression there? What was you saw that? It really does feel watch, very watch, Cosby esque. That that looked like a Cosby, you know. Yeah, it looks kind of Cosby.
It's also not really funny yet, but maybe it'll get funny. Okay, so I do not like him in his underwear. That's much. I don't I hate this. Mine. Yeah, that's... I. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Th- I think you can make a funny joke out of a concept out of what he's trying to do here, but I feel like the kid doesn't need to be naked for it. Look, which <laughs> one? Which one's the funny guy? I think Peel. Nice. Yeah, like this is all right. Trevor Moore did this shit right when he did sketches with children. Yeah, they would, they would film the kids and they would just ask the, you know what I mean, and then they would have him in a separate pan. But yeah, yeah let's get that off the screen. That's a little yeah. Much. They had their clothes on, Virgie. Yeah, they had their yeah. clothes Tre- on. Trevor this Trevor fucking, Moore uh, did the like like when he did the explaining nine eleven to kids. Yeah, yeah. But that was like, you know, <laughs> that was filmed right. And also, everything he said was true. And they were clothed. And they were... My mind's telling me no! Oh, I hate this! This is... Even, look... A rough one. Everyone made edgy jokes. I did, I did. Even for that era of edginess, I'm not seeing the funny... I'm not seeing the joke yet, but let's get it. I gotta pause. No, 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 you guys don't get the joke. You guys don't get the joke. He wants to fuck the kid. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's disgusting, but what's the joke? No, 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 that's... (laughs) That's the funny thing. I don't... Like, imagine if this kid gets fucked. Let let me, let me... (laughs) You're like, I don't get that. (laughs) That's... Let me, let me see. I feel like whoever comes up with that concept doesn't know comedy very well. I'm starting to... I mean, but the thing is, though, and, you know, we have to be honest, Ari Spears knows comedy. Like, he is a funny guy. This isn't funny, but we've we literally just laughed the other day at some shit he was saying. He's a funny guy. I don't get this, but like, even for being edgy, it's like I I I should be hilariously laugh. Like, you want a funny way to do this? Like, who who another person who films really well when it comes when it comes around to like having kids on like the little buff boy sketch from Tim Robinson is a great way to do it. Where obviously it's ridiculous, but it never feels weird. You know, yeah. it's ridiculous because they're all wearing body suits, you know, <laughs> or or the, the it's always sunny one. Oh, like always Frank, sunny. Frank's a gra- little yes. darlings. Yes. Yes. That's when another great the, example. The kid beauty pageant. Don't and diddle, it was kids. Party. Don't diddle, kids. It was, it was his business yes, partner yes. that turned out to be the pedophile. <laughs> Don't diddle, kids. Dude, him with the fucking the, the tissue in his nose bleeding. <laughs> Don't do kids. Not good kids. Oh my <laughs> God! Clyde has a good point. Are we ignoring that they're using R. Kelly music? Oh uh, boy. Oh, that may well. Well, 2014, you know, wasn't a big deal, I guess. I must confess. I want to get through this, so let's just get through this, okay? I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I'm skipping. I can't. No, 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 no. Let me tell you right now. My verdict is that's no. fucking gross, bro. That's fucking bad. I man. was trying to give the benefit of the doubt. I really was. But at one point, I think the kid's jerking off a train set, bro. And I'm not you kidding that, you. I'm not you know fucking friend, kidding you. Do you guys ever have that friend in high school where it's like everyone's like, you know, we're all ma- you're all making jokes, riffing off each other. And then there's that one like hang on guy who just goes like, yeah, <laughs> That's and a, then you're just like, whoa, okay, um, all, all right, that's what this is. This is, this is, this is. Yeah, that was, bo- that bothered me. Uh, just, just, I'm not going to play, but just want to show you a quick screen grab. Does that look okay to you? That's it. Bro, I had to go take a dab. Fuck all that noise. I really hey, Harry thought. Harry Spears, Lizzo never did that. Bro, what I, I the really actual thought fuck, they were bro? Be, this, this was an overreaction, but I don't think it was much of an overreaction. Not even remotely. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I was going to have Taper, you know, clip. You know, like I said that. I'm going to also then add, have him add blurring out the screen, obviously. Have him add us reacting to it to kind of round the whole thing out. You know what that I mean? awful. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I did not like that. I feel Bro, uncomfortable. My- my gum, one of my Gumroad videos literally has a man with a whole <laughs> foot in his ass, and this was worse. This is far worse. Bro, what the fuck was that? I felt more uncomfortable with that than I did with the fucking roach milk. 
And well, if that, you'd like that, to know what I'm referring to, Pessy's Gum Road. I feel terrible. Yeah, I don't feel good. I feel like sick, like a yeah, pit of my stomach I'm feels sad. weird. I'm sad. I just honestly thought that it was just a bunch of people that were, you know, people overreacting. this Because, you know, there's some edgy stuff. You know what I mean? But this was, like, weird, bro. Look, right, and can so, I say something? I want to be clear. I don't think Ari Spears wants to fuck kids or fuck those kids. No. I don't believe that. I really don't. I, I don't think there's anything else he's ever done that would point to that, or Tiffany Haddish either, that would point to that. I do think that I know they were trying to go for a joke, but, bro, even Not a great if, joke. if the kid wasn't in his underwear, maybe i try. You know what I mean? Like, if the kid was wearing clothes... May, but still kind of weird but it's it just still no i didn't see why was he line. jerking off a train i <sighs> let's just i don't know man i don't know exactly how i feel us. about how that court case is gonna go but like can we agree that maybe that child that that kid does have some fucking repercussions from that yeah i think the like, mom might have some legitimate gripes here yeah they're fucking there's there's absolutely some pedophiles out there fucking watching that fucking shit now, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here. That that dude has to live with that shit. Here, let's let's think back. Let's think back to regular to to, to better days. Oh, <sighs> that's, that's simpler days. Don't you feel better? Remember when movies were good? Yeah, they might. Yeah, dude. Remember that? Remember? Let's say what you want about Harvey Weinstein, but those films were great. I mean, there's not been any good movies since Me Too. Question. You, if you were Harvey Weinstein, would you or would you not try to fuck Jennifer Lawrence? That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. And this whole, everyone's like, he raped them. And eh, did he? Because not some of them did it very willingly to get an Oscar. So let's not, maybe some, but, mm, and well, others. Let's all remember, they were all over 18. Good point. Allegedly. Unlike Ari <laughs> Spears. That was fucking weird, bro. I have had a roller coaster of a. We have had a roller coaster of a week with Ari Spears, right? Yeah, it's been odd. It's been super weird, and I don't like it. And oh, whatever. Till asked a good question. Who fucking wrote that sketch? It's not even funny. That's the thing.